Yo, yo, yo. Uh, Diamond 3, Map of Survasa. We lost 2 3, going win, loss, loss, win, loss on the points. I played Diva for most of the game, except for playing Zarya on fourth. I felt that my teammates did well this game, but I got diffed on tank, especially on Diva. For further context, I played in a four stack. We were together in Discord, and Layla is the random. I often play with a combination of these friends. Please let me know if you see an opportunity to synergize with them or help them. Uh, okay, spare parts. Let me turn this down for a second. Taking space main, that's good. Using matrix a little bit too long here for nothing. I like the high ground pick. I would honestly have my rockets be flying out right now. Not sure what you're looking at there. Saw Anna use nade and no sleep, so she's a potential kill target. Peeling here is great. Staying with your team there would have been really, really good, and then matrixing heals from over there. Um, because then you would have kept your whole team alive and maybe not traded. But since you leave them, Diva gets a full remake. And I think your team gets anti'd. But what you could have done there was continued uh, staying with your team, finished off the Diva, and looked out for. T looked to Matrix healing and, and damage on your team there, since that was pretty much where the whole fight was. Um, taking place. It's always, always better on D.Va to keep your team alive than to get kills. Okay, well, I don't know about always, but most of the time it's really good. <laughs> if you notice that somebody's kind of uh, split from their team, you can be forcing them out if you're not going too far away from the point and, and your team. Like, I would, I would like, maybe fly up here on your side and push them out from this way. Because um, you never know what could happen. But you, you want to be in a position where you can fly out if you need to or, or peel uh, for your team if you need to. Because otherwise you're just standing here. There's always something you could be doing. Nice. Wait, this guy's feeding this guy. Once he starts flying over like that, at the end of your rockets, you can start matrixing. Because otherwise, their Anna could land a, a nade or something like that. Oh, also a really, really important setting that you need to have on is D.Va. And need to learn to get used to, in my opinion, is hold to use boosters. This setting makes it so as long as you're pressing shift you're flying and as soon as you let go you stop using boosters but the main thing is you don't have to press the button twice and you, it's just i would say try it and see how it goes since they're down baby diva you can bit excessive notice how your team keeps getting anti As soon as this wall drops, um, well, for one, you should be keeping track of, try to learn to keep track of Anna Nade. If she hasn't used it for a while, then she probably has it up, right? But as soon as this wall drops, um, of course, Anna's going to look for a nade, you know? So when I, I peek around corners with my team, I'm looking to have my matrix available and I'm probably looking to use it because Think about it this way. If you're the enemy team and there's nothing on your screen that you can shoot, you're not doing anything. But it, the very second that it's up, you're trying to get max value. So just just flashing matrix is usually good enough, but um, I would hold it until uh, I can see that there's an opportunity for me to capitalize on or my team is gonna be okay if I let go of matrix. Cause that was a huge anti. That, that was almost a fight turning anti, letting that go off. As soon as you see the enemy team comp, you're going to have to practice this. 
as soon as you see the enemy team come think about the things that you're gonna have to matrix in order to get max value so and a healing and a sleep and a, and a nades um pulse bombs you're gonna have to peel for your team you're gonna look for um may ults no reason to use fly here yep and keeping track of dps ults is very very important especially as diva and dude you, you're gonna look like a superhero if you learn to track ults and then you're eating them every single time they throw them out but yeah if a may has ult she's probably looking forward the second her her ice block ends and that's easy to keep uh easy to keep track of and easy to eat if you know what's coming if you watch me play i'm eating everything man i'm eating every pulse bomb i know when they're going for it i'm eating every mail like it's it's always so telegraphed and there's nobody literally nobody in this game who is uh tricky enough to get it past me because it's like it's hard it's very very hard I think there's an opportunity here if you uh oh wow going for the fast reset there's an opportunity here to keep your team alive if you're matrixing at the right time so for one you put your team in a position where they're gonna need to peel for you because you use your your boosters to go in i would uh i would have dropped off this little ledge and just like play this little corner but i think maybe if you go on these stairs you can jump up there but against a may and against a lot of team comps you don't want to just have your boosters land in front of the enemy team. It would have been maybe even fine to use your boosters and just land in front of the door and, and then shoot the um, the diva from there. But look at the crossfire that you create when, by going in here. Diva's really good because she can matrix one way, right? But now you're getting shot from both sides when you can just um stand in front of your team and hold this choke this way but also you get walled off uh by putting yourself in there there's just a lot of things that's not the best you use matrix on your your maid that's already blocked <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me but i also think that watching your own vod like this um can help you out a lot. Sometimes it's okay to stay alive and farm some ultra. I like to do it a lot. Ba basically every time. But that's just me. So if this, this Tracer is staying in and doing damage, I think flying at him and forcing him out is okay. But you really do give up a lot of the space that your team owns because you're standing there. Backing up a little bit, I think to right here is totally fine. Because they spread, the enemy team spreads their resources really, really thin. But if you're standing right here, you're sort of in a position to peel a bit more. Oh, that's unlucky that you're already down. Yeah, honestly, this is a... Everybody turns around and reset, but... But why does he get picked in the first place? It is because... You fly in instead of just... Ensuring that your whole team gets through. Which is your job. You know, you don't have a Rhine shield. Even as queen, I'm I'm walking with my team, 
and body blocking and shouting to keep them alive. But with D.Va, there's there's no reason for this guy to be dying here. Like imagine um it's not Justin, it's uh this guy. Imagine you're just matrixing everything, all the poke. It's not your job to do this. I, I go on tracers um, pretty aggressively, but I'm also making sure my team is okay while I do it. And I'm usually letting them know. You have plenty of time here. You can walk up. Plenty of time. Um, yeah, you, you have plenty of time just to walk up first and then fly into the point rather than walking up, flying, and then walking. Because obviously you're much easier to hit uh, with stuff. And... You can't really position well if you don't have your fly up. It's just like kind of tough. Not much you can do here. Like, if if you had would have walked up and gave your team a bit more time and then touch at the very last second, then you might still have your mech and you might have been able to eat uh, a lot of this a lot of this stuff that's going on here. You might have been able to eat the anti, eat the mail, yada yada. Like watch, let's pretend you you still haven't touched. You have an extra like seven or so seconds. Let's pretend you're still with your team just walking up normally. You're just stacked on your break, for example. Or stacked on your May. You could fly right now. So just again engaging way, way, way too early. While your team isn't stacked. Try to just see um before you go in, just look where your team is. And then how are you to play around them accordingly? No reason to use your jump here. No reason. No reason. You... May still has block. Risky to be in front of him like that. Wow. You need to pedal to the fucking metal here. Yeah, point. It's okay to just bring. Hey, escort your team. Nice eat. Probably gonna get slept here. Yeah. Probably not going to get anything with that anyway, like... Nice eat. Matrix, yeah. If you think they, they might have Ananade, then you should Matrix. It's way more important than doing damage. Imagine... Eating anti-nade is like doing 480 damage to everybody on her team. Because that's how much you'll have to do in order to make up for the Ana healing. And that doesn't include the the debuff that it does. Yeah, eating heals is doing is basically doing way more damage than you actually doing damage. And you and escort your team a lot more. Really focus on doing that. Make sure that when you're disengaging, you're getting them out, and when you're engaging, um, like rotating and stuff, make sure you you're getting them in. It's okay to just walk up to enemies. Usually booping them. I, I'll usually save my stuff. I'll usually save my boosters for after they use their defensive ability 
or if I see another opportunity or whatever. Eating my ult there would be a lot easier if you're ult tracking. And that's just something that you have to work on and like pay attention to. Pretty much every other fight for most characters or maybe every other fight and a half. Learning the, the voice lines can help too. Like if a tracer just triple blinks in, odds are they're looking for a pulse bomb, right? If they haven't pulse bombs. There you could have sold her. You have really, really good tracking there. But if you... I would have probably flown into her. Um, this is gonna, I'm going to show you this real quick. Training range. So with D.Va, I have my, uh, my bottom mouse button right here. This is set to rockets, and then I have the top one set to melee. And you can kill tracers really fast, so... I think, you know, Tracer has the same health as Baby Diva, about the same frame. But you can shift and then melee right after and it keeps the damage. So that's half health already. Now if you're flying with rockets and you do that. I uh, messed it up there. Even without rockets. You can do damage. Decent damage. Keep me alive. And yeah, it's standing still, whatever, but I still do it to um, even like the best of the best treasures in the world. You can do that too. It's just really, really good burst and mostly use boosters to finish off kills because look how much damage this is. I think it's, it's 40 for a melee and I can't remember how much boosters do. I can look real quick. I'm gonna pull the uh, Vaxta. This is a, a custom game that's good for aim training or just warming up. It shows numbers and all that. Like damage numbers. You just press interact on the uh, thing. Okay, so that's 25. <laughs> so 65 damage. Like instantly for just running into them, you know? I think usually you would start with, uh, like if I'm playing for somebody that I'm diving like that, I would pepper them a little bit and then look for a, a burst with the last like 65 damage or so. Something like that. Yeah. But these bots are moving like, not normally. <laughs> But yeah, most of the time I'm finishing off kills with my with my melee. I force blink first and then or force recall first and then I'll look for a, a dive after if I know how many how many blinks they have or if I have like an idea where they're gonna recall. Makes it easier to the hitbox for melee is pretty wide as well, so it's very forgiving. I'm meleeing quite a bit when I'm on Diva. And I could probably send you a a VOD if you'd like. Like, um, let's see if I have any. I've been playing mostly Queen, but here on this Pariso, I think I had Aspen on my team. I did. So I'm just gonna pull this up real quick, and then we'll go we'll go back to your uh, your VOD. Yeah, I even started on. I started on Diva. I think we get capped on instantly because I, I troll or something. Or somebody trolls. 
And I swapped the queen. Okay, I play. <laughs> it's a queen game. Okay, here, here, here. <clears throat> okay, they have um, they have Anna, Junkrat, and Widow. So I'm gonna try to eat Widow shots. If I if I see here, I'm probably gonna Matrix because you're probably gonna take a shot. Matrixing Junkrat damage as much as possible, and I'm Matrixing Anna heals slash um, yeah cooldowns. Right now I'm just poking, wait for my whole team to get back. I see the the Widow uses shift. One of my guys gets a lucky pick, and then I start getting on the Ana, eat the heal, or eat the, the sleep. Because they'll usually use one right before the other. They're just going to try to get it out. There I don't melee because I think I was going to be out of range and I would have killed with the rockets. Slash shooting. Dead here. And I can, I'll save my bomb for a very, very long time sometimes. Oh, I think I get a, a good pick on somebody. Is it on the Widow or something? But notice how I'm, I'm just matrixing instead of chasing down the, the tracer. I heard the tracer on the right, but that's fine. Matrixing, trying to eat the heals. Notice Annie's asleep and then it's okay to, you know, I didn't have matrix. I'm not going to die there if I get anti It's fine to just finish her off with damage. Still just holding my bomb. I see Widow, but it's kind of deep and my team's not all the way there and they they have respawns. Plus we're getting free push on point. This guy uses a jump and lands right in front of me so I can punish him pretty hard. He gets nano a lot of time I'll just like matrix. I eat the pulse bomb. Just keep track of that and I heard it behind me. Just doing damage, not not getting out of position, just playing with my team. They have to come to us because we have full point control. No one's gonna die to my Diva right now because everybody's there. Kill the break for free. I hear the tracer. I'm gonna try to stop all damage from him. Loop him around. Pressure him. And then take space. Here. I play kind of aggressive. But I'm trying to shut them down hard, which is a, a bit more advanced. And I let one of my guys die. It's kind of troll what I'm doing. But I'm just uh, always defaulting back to my team whenever I get the chance. <clears throat> oh, I could have saved my Lucio here too. I just, I wasn't sure where he was at. I thought I heard him on left. I heard him use an aid, I think. That's why I'm playing like this. I definitely could have won this if I just bombed on point. I, I don't know why I bombed like this. It was my first game of the day, I think. Maybe. Maybe I'm making that up. Third game of the day. Um, I will get this for you. There it is, if you want it. Um... But yeah, normally you just bomb on point. They have to run off point. They die. And then you cap. <clears throat> but yeah, studying or just watching. Oh yeah, okay, okay, here, here. I think right there you could have, you could have got him. Mm. If you matrix the nade, that's the only thing. Nade has a pretty long travel time. And if you expect it. And even if you don't expect it, just holding matrix can sometimes switch it up and you can matrix heals on the on the target you're trying to kill. And they're really not ready for it. That would have been a really great time to bomb because they didn't have Maywall. But holding is fine too, I suppose. It's a safe choice for sure. Bombing a point here, I assume, yeah. If one of your teammates gets slept, you're gonna want to matrix them. Because there could be an uh, anti coming red for them, or you never know who's on top of them. So you can 
when I'm keeping teammates who are slept alive, I'm I hold matrix on them for a second, and then I let go, and then I I hold it on them again, and hopefully that's long enough to keep them alive, and then you can body block on, uh, damage as well if it comes down to that. Shooting supports or squishies will yield a uh, higher return for old charge. Ah, oh, that sucks. You're, clo you're really close there. And just play corners. Uh, Diva swap. Cesario here is really good. Really, really good. Playing the mirror is fine as well, but if you're just not feeling it, you're not feeling it, it's okay to swap. Let's see how you use your bubbles. Since you have full point control, you just want to play point. Um, and then play in front of your team so that the enemy team doesn't get through the chokes for free. Because look at how, how's your team going to help you here? They're really, they don't have very good sight lines. Like if you get, you can get walled really easy. But if you're playing right here, you're playing out in the open and the enemy team has to walk through the chokes and whatnot. You could also rocket jump up here if there's Anna's up here for free. But playing here... Oh yeah. I mean... What can you do? Alright, so I have bubble. Bubble once. Look for energy. Bubbling right when you go around the corner. It's the same concept as that Maywall thing I was talking about. You know, as soon as the Maywall is down, they're going to shoot at you, right? Well, as soon as you walk around the corner and they see you for the first time, um, you could have got a decent amount of uh, energy there. And also, you're going to want to... Look how many times your team is anti It's It's 100% your job to stop that from happening. It's easy to do on Zarya too. Your team almost clutches up here. Well, actually, I don't know what happens. Oh, wow. Is that blocking that? During Cure Colds, I am left-clicking and right-clicking a lot. Burst damage is super strong in Overwatch. And if you can sneak it through the Diva Matrix, you can just one-tap somebody. Uh, like the uh, one of the squishies on the... On their team. Sorry. Garth on the keyboard. This is good. You're looking for this. Looking for poke. If they're really split like this, it's okay to even like push up a bit and pressure them with your left click. But just make sure you're in a position where you can get out as well. A bit late on the timing, but it seems to be fine. You don't have enough energy to really, really be a threat. Very clutch by Justin. It's too far. Yep. They rotate. They're down one. Here, honestly, I would have just... Uh, not bubbled quite yet because there's there's no reason to right yes they are slept but there's nothing happening uh and and maybe and maybe you don't have the best monitor or the internet internet connection or like you know um whatever but you can usually see damage coming so if you hear the anti-nade and then you see it then you could look for a bubble i personally would have just uh walked over and body blocked unless i saw an, an ananade or something else coming in then it would be okay to bubble but do it do what you can do it works really got to be careful for the uh gravity here decent there's a decent grab I don't hate it. One thing you can do versus divas that are looking for eats on your grav are if you don't feel like feel like risking it, like when they're flashing matrix, 
you can just grab on the pole or uh, out of LOS of them and it'll hit them and, and everybody near them, whatever. Kinda tough. Kinda tough spot to be in. You force a mail. Not the worst trade. Oh, do you guys win? Wow. Team really clutches up. And then this is the last point. I like the Diva swap. I feel like you're doing pretty okay on Zarya. But this is fine too. This is okay positioning. I think I would have played maybe here. Sometimes even right here. And then drop back and then fly back if I have to. You just want to apply as much pressure when it's easy for you and your team uh, as possible. You just heard the sleep. There's probably going to be a nade coming in soon. Oh, there's a nade. Kind of tunneling it. Too far. Way too far, way too far. It's okay to just shoot a tracer and even use rockets, but you're not using boosters to chase them down because this is, it's a tracer, you know? You're, if they have all their blinks up, they're just gonna run, and she does. But it's okay just to, just to turn around, shoot them for a second, and use rockets, because they're really, really squishy. They can't sustain a D.Va, even from mid-range, shooting, shooting them like that. See, now you're out of the fight. You could be matrixing the heals on this on this diva. Oh, that's a really close game. You guys end up winning this. No, that's a kill. That's just kill. You don't have the point yet. The diva, diva could just walk up and 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 touch the point. You can't really stagger here. Just kill her. Finish up the the fight and get the cap. And tied again. Your team shouldn't be ahead of you like this. You you should be ahead of them. And they're they're playing in a fine position. Anti again. Really, really listen for those antis. Okay. Juno ult is super OP. You're gonna wanna pretty much use all your matrix possible until you learn how how to like cut back and, and when to use it at the right time. Pretty much as soon as possible. That's unlucky. I don't think you did, you did anything particularly wrong right there, but how did the people get two? Team just didn't hide around corners well enough. But also, you know, your team is being shot. Um most of the time so they're trying to run away from the damage but if you were there maybe matrixing or whatever like you don't have to go this far you could have maybe just gone here and then matrixed or stand on top of them and body block Let's see if justin has no he doesn't have wall okay did he have wall Not quite. Wait, what happened? That's so weird. He like goes, maybe he does. Whether he does or he doesn't, he maybe could have saved them. Uh, you can also use May block to just stop that damage. I would say look, look to peel a bit more. You, you've got nice eats. You've got the, the diving in. Um, a bit more a bit more leveled up than you're peeling and it's just a balance every time with diva you're like a firefighter you're like flying around the map putting out fires and there's there's thousands of thousands of choices with um in one team fight with diva he's a high skill cap character in the game but there's only a few that'll win you the team fight right Ah, see, they know, they know how to avoid Matrix with their ults because, you know, they're used to Divas eating them. 
But there's tactics around that. It's, and this is things I do versus Anna's as well. Well, this ended up being a bit longer than I expected. But... So if there's a Mei looking for an ult, and you know she has ult, you can flash it, turn around, do that. Or you can flash and then flash. And that's usually good enough. But like flash, like this, like that. I just, I'll use the whole matrix if I have to. And then once she uses it, I'm flying out and then looking to peel anybody that got, gets uh, frozen. Almost done. Ready for battle. Uh, that was decent stall. You got up to 74. You just need one team fight and you would win this. Really, really close game. Start off the fight with an anti and then your Kirko is forced to use Suzu. It's okay to stand still and shoot sometimes. You're taking a lot of damage here. And you're frozen. Really, really good wall. You melee for an ult. Oh, so close. If you had a melee there, maybe that would have a gun bomb. Really, really close. Yeah, should get touched just fine. Using a lot of matrix here. Bombing is fine here. Wow, the defense bomb again. Yeah. It's tough, because usually you don't want to look for bombs in these situations. But it's one of those moments where you could definitely throw a bomb and maybe get a pick or two. Before you d -mick. We use a lot of matrix. You get anti again. I think you've started off every fight anti If you can help it, once you notice yourself starting to get low, you can look for a bomb. Like use, it's okay if you're not getting a full, uh, full value out of the the health bar from the remake. 150 health. Look for a shift. Just, just send it. You know, just wait, why is it not? Let me play. Just shift and then, hey, if it gets a kill, it gets a kill. You know. <laughs> So like send it somewhere. It's nice you get the D mech on the D.Va, but she has bomb anyway. Maybe you kill the Ana, maybe he turns the fight, you never know. Yeah, hopefully hopefully this helps. I think that's about it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Oops. I was gonna say, a lot of players will and this has been a, th a thing that I've noticed in every single VOD review that I've done. A lot of players are, they're trying to aim and move way too much. Sometimes if you gotta finish off a kill, just stand still and aim. Or aim with your body and don't move your mouse too much. That's it. Good luck, let me know. Uh, let me know how you do. Hopefully this is is helpful. There's a lot of uh, a lot of information. So, forty minutes. This was forty minutes. Sheesh.